Hey guys, BF Viking here, and today is another episode of The Upper Hand, the series where I give you my tips and information on how you can become a better player in Battlefield 1. So for today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Assault class, a extremely powerful class when in the right hands. The Assault class has replaced the Engineer and has access to anti-tank weaponry, SMGs, and shotguns. So this class is mainly suited towards close quarter engagements because you have the SMGs and the shotguns, which aren't quite effective at range, so you will have to be very careful in combat, thinking, will I go down this alleyway if I have an automatic O M1918 because of its insane recoil pattern? So somebody could come down that alleyway with a self-loading rifle, which would drop you a lot quicker. So make sure you know where you're going to go, and always make sure to close the distance between you and your enemy. No class is better than the Assault class in CQB, but no class is worse at long range than the Assault class. So never let the enemy get a long line of sight on you. Stay in the buildings or trenches if possible, hence why it's called the Assault class. You actually have to get up close and personal and assault the enemy. The Assault class has the best equipment against ground vehicles and infantry. As you know, you are kind of limited when it comes down to the guns available to the Assault class, but the anti-tank equipment is very effective against infantry, especially the AT rocket gun for targets far away, and the dynamite is very effective for setting up traps. Alright, so now for the best AT weaponry. This is the AT rocket gun and the dynamite. So you're probably wondering why I chose these over any other of the AT equipment. Well, the AT rocket gun is very good because you can shoot enemies from quite a long way away in a tank or even just infantry. If there's a huge cloud of infantry, it's very effective to just shoot into it and you might get two or three kills. I chose the dynamite over the AT grenades because you already have a ranged AT weapon so the dynamite is good because you can set up traps for unexpected enemies so with the AT grenades you can throw them quite far but you already have a ranged AT weapon so it's good the dynamite is very good because if you know you're running away from the enemy you can hide in an alleyway and set up dynamite explode it when the enemies are coming and you'll get yourself a quick two or three kills so as you know the gun is your choice whatever the situation calls for make sure to use the little customization there is for the gun you're using and this goes for all classes if you have a tendency to make your weapons recoil pull up to the right you can actually have it so your gun will pull to the left in the customization options or if you don't like the iron sights you can swap these out for something a bit wider so let's just say for the medic class if you're going with the Sai Regatti or Sal Regatti however you pronounce it if you want to go up close you can actually have those buckhorn iron sights which have a very wide aperture so that will allow you to see your enemy a lot clearer or you can go with the with the stock iron sights, which will actually be a lot better at longer range. I think DICE just kind of ran out of ideas, but this new recoil system is pretty cool, because let's just say you have long thumbs and you play on console. You can combat that by choosing which way you want your recoil to go. Another thing is, it's quite a shame that there's absolutely no customization for your soldier in Battlefield 1. Maybe different soldier presets. I know in World War 1 that the German army had these specific soldiers that only had a pistol with like two magazines and around 20 grenades. I know that wouldn't work well at all in Battlefield 1, but there are many more different uh, special soldiers in World War 1 that DICE could have implemented into Battlefield 1. So everybody, that just about wraps it up for this episode of The Upper Hand. If you enjoyed, leave a like and stay tuned for daily Battlefield videos. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you in the next Battlefield video.